So today we're going to be talking about this Bardock. Let's go ahead and just talk about him together because I do not remember exactly what he does and I have not used him ever since I awakened him on both versions. So let's go ahead and reread what he does together. So um, the outcome of repeated strategy. So like, damn, that name, Bardock. Man, I, I feel for you, brother. I really feel for you. His leader skill. Uh, time travels to key and 50% of the stats. So that's pretty much EUZA area locked. And his super attack, he stacks attack and gains 50% defense one turn and lowers attack. So nice super attack effect combinations. And for his interest animation buff, he has an interest animation, of course, uh, which is pretty dope. You guys should check it out if you haven't already saw it. And he launches an additional attack as a 70% chance to come with super attack for four turns. So that is good. For him considering the fact that he is stacking attack nice that he gets a defensive buff for one turn but hey it's it's something right i see the approach to going with for his interest animation buff for that additional super attack chance he starts out with 100 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and he gives super class allies one key and 20 percent attack and defense nice and he gives time travelers category allies one key and 20 percent attack and defense so if you are a super class time travelers character you're getting two key and 40 percent attack and defense and he also gets an additional 100% attack when there's a Wicked Bloodline category enemy. Of course, it makes sense because it's Bardock. He also has a unrestricted 30% chance to crit. And he launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come super attack when there is a full rotation of super class characters. Uh, and he also gets 50% attack and defense performing a super attack. It's going to help him because of the fact that he does get a defensive buff for one turn. So attack a defensive buff when it's passed to a super attack. That's always nice and is helpful on any unit in Dokkan. And he also gets an additional 50% attack and a 50% chance to crit when HP is 50% or less. So this is just a cherry on top for him to be able to have up to an 80% chance to crit considering the fact that he has a 30% chance to crit. So the good things about this card is the fact that he can get two plus supers from his kit, that being from his interest animation buff, as well as from him having a full super class rotation. Um, that way it will help him stack up his attack, as well as him being a dual support type unit for super class allies and time travels characters. And if you are a super class time travels character, you're getting up to two key and 40% attack and defense. Um, he does get that little additional attack buff, albeit you're not going to really see this too much, but he does get that little attack buff if you're going up against a Wicked Bloodline category enemy. I mean, if you want to go ahead and have some fun and run him aside the Legendary Freeze event, go right ahead to get that off. And yeah, he gets an attack and defensive buff from his pass to a super attack effect, and as well as him getting up to a 80% chance of crit. Now, I will say, um, when this card does become an LR, he's going to become an LR, right? Because he is like a quest, he, he's going to become an LR, him and Frieza, I'm pretty certain. Um, so, uh, what I would hope for Dokkan to do is give him, give him dodge. Give him like a 50% chance to dodge. When you have like, I don't know, like a full super class rotation or if you have a super class ally attack in the same turn, um, because I Lord knows they're not going to give him a unrestricted 50% chance to dodge, even though they gave him a unrestricted 30% chance to crit, which is not going to help him at all, like in any way, shape or form. I think granted he gets a 50% chance to dodge and he's sitting pretty. I think even if they give him like damage reduction, it's not going to be high damage reduction. So him with damage reduction that's below like 50%, it's, it's not going to help him at all. No. It, right let, let me see his stats maybe maybe it's it's really dependent on how much more stats to give this card for when it becomes an lr but yeah uh what we're seeing right now dual additional super attack chances dual support uh what, what else uh, he can get up to an 80 percent chance to crit an attack and defensive buff must pass to a super attack effect um he's looking okay only issue is is that he has no guard he has no damage reduction. He has no dodge. He is solely a card that is reliant on his stacking because you see it in the dual additional super attack chances. You see it in what else? His attack and defense above from his pass to a super attack effect for him to hit much harder, of course. And you also see it when he's below the HP threshold for him to get that additional attack, which coincides with his stacking attack. So that's going to be about it. I'm not going to go too hard on this Bardock. I'm not going to go too crazy on him because, of course, this guy's going to be getting LR, I'm pretty certain, as well as the Frieza. But, of course, the Frieza hasn't gotten his Awakening yet. So that's going to be all. And he is on, what's that? It's 9 200% leader skills. Tech Bardock. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> and his best linking partner is this Easy Aid AGL Bardock. 8 key, 45% attack, and 25% defense. Defense is obviously nice for this guy, and he absolutely needs it. As well as the attack approach that they want this card, so I guess it makes sense. As well as the 8 key, so they can get, just get full key out the gate. But that's going to be about it. Yeah, LR Bardock too, man. Man, super easy A in like 2029. But yeah, 
Uh, I appreciate the guys watching. You guys are the best. That's going to be it for Bardock. Yeah, it's going to be a fairly short one. And I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And join the 24-7 Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. And yeah. Peace.